Good Monday morning, everyone. Welcome back to Weather with Sim again. I hope you guys are all having a great day so far. And in today's weather forecast, we're going to be taking a look at the winter of 2024 to 2025 to get a good idea about what could happen. The reason why we're doing this today is because we do not have a whole lot of severe weather going on. And so since we don't really have much to talk about, I thought I would do a winter forecast to give you guys a good idea on what could happen this winter and this is really early um to be talking about this winter but we are to the point where we are we where we are at least getting a few ideas about what could happen this winter including a la nina that will likely be happening before winter so that's what's really given us the good idea about what this winter could turn out to be as la nina which indicates below normal water temperatures in the pacific ocean so we'll definitely need to be watching this winter very closely as this winter will more than likely be different than last winter because last winter was El Nino this winter's gonna be La Nina so that is a complete difference right there on what we can expect this winter so definitely stay tuned till the end so you guys know about this winter plus don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I do appreciate appreciate you guys getting me up to 250 subscribers but like i said guys you know if you guys haven't subscribed already please subscribe to my youtube channel and that will for sure help me out a lot but like i said i do really appreciate it so let's go ahead and first take a look at what we can expect and as you can see we do expect there to be colder than normal temperatures across the northern part of the united states the reason why this why is because La Nina usually brings this colder air from Canada moving into the northern United States. This area has been cold the last couple of La Nina winters and so we think it's really going to continue through this winter too as well just because of how much La Nina can really bring colder than normal temperatures across the northern United States. So that is definitely something we are concerned about is below normal temperatures in this area that you see in blue in this has happened during a lot of La Nina winters like I said so that's the reason why we're really concerned about this one being pretty similar too. Now farther down to the south we expect this area across the south and southeast to be a little bit warmer than normal. This one has been you know warmer than normal during some of the La Nina winters not all of them but some of them but because we're seeing global warming due Due to increase of greenhouse gases we do expect there to maybe be an increased risk of some above average temperatures across the south and southeast so that's the reason why i am kind of concerned about this area really being warmer than normal because like i said some of the la nina winters have been warmer than normal for this area but because we are seeing global warming due to an increase of greenhouse gases like i said does bring an increased risk of some warmer than normal temperatures across the south and southeast so definitely get ready for some greater weather down here to the south and now this area that you don't see shaded in any color that just means we expect there to be near normal temperatures okay this area down here usually stays pretty warm during the winter about the same over here as the south and southeast 60s and 70s down here in the southwest United States so we're just you know talking about near normal temperatures for these areas well we will obviously be seeing colder air in the higher elevations but areas like Phoenix Arizona which isn't in a super high elevation could very well be seeing some really good temperatures this winter because of how we are expecting near normal so definitely get ready for a good winter down here in the southwest now let's go ahead and now talk about why we expect there to be drier than normal conditions across the south and then two other areas seeing weather conditions this is because of a la nina this jet stream that you see 
is a typical La Nina jet stream. This is something we might be seeing a lot of the winters, but we definitely don't see this every winter. We kind of do expect this jet stream to be at least somewhere in this area this winter, so we're at least um, being very concerned about much weather than normal precipitation across the northwest. Um, the northwest has actually been seeing well above average precipitation every single La Nina winter that I know. And so that's the reason why we're really concerned about this area being much wider than normal. And that's actually why I did a darker green is to show that confidence is even higher um, about the northwest United States being well above average and then that jet stream sometimes can dip as far down south as Oklahoma but in general it usually stays pretty much across the lower Ohio Valley and then moves into the northeast and that's kind of why we are a little bit concerned about some weather the normal precipitation across this area but if this jet stream does move a little bit farther down to the south, then places like Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia could start maybe getting on some of the precipitation. So even though this is kind of what a typical La Nina jet stream looks like, this could very well be going up and down a lot, just given the fact that some of these areas down here have been seeing precipitation during some of the La Nina winters. So we definitely do need to be watching this jet stream very closely this winter, and I do think that this area will still be much weather than normal because last winter we saw well below average snowfall for some areas, not all areas, but some areas have been seen well below average snowfall. And because of that, I do think that this winter will be wetter than normal across the same areas that saw below average snowfall last winter. And that's certainly because we'll be in a La Nina, like I said, which indicates below average water temperatures in this area right here of the Pacific. Uh, last year, we saw an El Nino, which indicates warmer than normal temperatures in this area of the Pacific Ocean. So, like I said, that, that's the reason why we are very well concerned about the Ohio Valley, Great Lakes, parts of the Midwest, into the Tennessee Valleys, Mid-Atlantic, and Northeast, kind of getting on some of the above-average precipitation, too, as well. But areas farther down to the south, though, so pretty much the entirety of the southern United States, we do expect there to be well um, below average precipitation in some areas, especially these areas that are usually much drier. These areas down here to the south and southeast, like I said, these areas could very well get on some of the precipitation, especially if this jet stream were to um, move farther down to the south. But overall, just overall, we do expect all this area that is put in this yellow shaded color to see at least slightly below average precipitation this winter, including Texas. So definitely get ready for a drier winter, not a completely dry winter, but somewhat a dry winter across the entire southern United States. And, you know, even though we do expect it to be dry, we could be completely warm because there has been some winters where we have been seeing tornadoes across the this area, but even though um, we might not be seeing drier than normal precipitation, you know, like I said, we could very well be seeing, you know, some weather than normal precipitation in some areas. So that area down here kind of does remain uncertain, um, to say the least. But um, from what we know so far, this area will be dry overall. So definitely get ready for a drier winter, like I said, but still be prepared for, you know, maybe some severe weather, some isolated thunderstorms and things like that, because this area usually stays warm during the winter. And that's the reason why I said thunderstorms. Now, for your overall winter forecast, this is 2024 to 2025, like I said. We do expect there to be much colder than normal precipitation or, um, I mean, 
I mean, temperatures, like I said, not much colder precipitation, but much colder temperatures across the northern United States. So pretty much from Washington and Oregon all the way to the northeast, likely to see a cold and snowy winter as most winters that have been on La Nina have been seeing this cold air move farther down to the south. So most La Nina winters have been colder than normal, like I said, across the northern United States. So that's a reason why we also are concerned about it being on the snowier side of things so definitely get ready for a cold and snowy winter like i said across the northern united states as we will likely see more of a typical la nina winter across on the northern united states but if we move a little bit farther down to the south because we will be seeing a little bit warmer temperatures, not like super warm because this cold air could very well move all the way down here to Tennessee like what I showed you guys on the temperature outlook. Um, but, you know, we could very well also be seeing um, more in the way of above average precipitation too as well. So because, you know, we could be seeing below and above average precipitation at times in this battle zone area, like I said, like I said, we'll be pretty much um, near the cold air zone and near the warm, warmer than normal temperatures across the south and southeast. You know, that's kind of why we are expecting this to be the battle zone area. This is where we could see some snow we could see some rain at times we could see some ice storms we might even see some severe weather especially given the fact that some of the decembers especially the last few decembers have had some severe weather events especially the ef4 tornado that occurred in mayfield kentucky and pretty much moved to the northeast and that was a pretty historic tornado right there and of course that's kind of rare because we don't usually see tornadoes this time of year but, you know, we definitely um, will need to still be watching for something like that to happen this winter, again, just given the fact that we have had some tornadoes during the December month. So that's the reason why we are expecting this area to be the battle zone area, so definitely get ready for all kinds of weather, all kinds of precipitation, and just all that crazy stuff. But a little bit farther to the west, in the same area, but farther to the west, we expect expect there to be some big snows, especially in the higher elevations. This is where we could be seeing feet and feet and feet of snow, especially across the Sierra Nevadas, where we usually see the most snow each year. So that is definitely going to be one of the biggest areas to watch for this winter, winter because of how we're expecting um, some big snows, especially in the higher elevations, like I said. So definitely get ready for more big snows. Um, then farther down to the south, this is the area we expect there to be mainly dry okay and like I said this area could very well be seen some precipitation at times like thunderstorms and you know even some in the way of rainfall too as well um, but overall we expect this area to be mainly dry so again get ready for mainly for mainly a drier winter so definitely gonna be something to keep an eye on this winter um, as this jet stream will likely be a little bit farther to the north but s still could shift down to the south at times like I said but thank you guys very much for watching my video I hope you guys have had all had a great weekend so far um, and if you guys are wondering about how this winter could look like for your area please comment down below if you guys are wondering about that um, plus don't forget to like and subscribe as I will be keeping you guys updated with more weather forecasts um, on this channel we will also be talking about fall pretty soon as well as we actually are getting very close to when fall is likely going to begin so definitely also get ready for a fall forecast maybe coming up sometime during the month of august so we will also be talking about fall too as well in sometime um next month if why not sometime on the month after so the, again get ready for some more fall and as well as winter forecasts and like i said don't forget to like and subscribe on my youtube channel and i will continue to keep you guys updated with more weather forecasts